Do you love foxes as much as I do? Well, if so, then you are welcome to the second devlog about the fox game. Recently, I have been again working mostly on these dungeons, so doing some level design and that stuff. But to make the dungeons a bit more spicy, I've also did two kind of puzzles. One of them is a pitfall puzzle, which you can find in the second dungeon. So first I need to go through this strong wind. And in the second room, we can see that some of these floors are slightly moving, which means that they are just unstable. So if I step on them, I would fall somewhere who knows where. So let's try to find the correct path, which seems to be going through here. And we appear in a cave. Down there, there is not really much to find, so we just need to go back through this long, long pathway and get back to the puzzle. When creating this puzzle, I was first thinking about what kind of clues should I give to the player. Should I maybe add some arrows that will tell him where he should go, or maybe some cryptic symbols or some fancy stuff like that, but it just seemed to be too complicated for me, so just moving floors like that seemed to be the easy and the most straightforward solution. Let's now take a look at the fourth dungeon, which is the new one that I have created. You could say that creating all of these dungeons and just the level design stuff is pretty simple, and yeah, it can be repetitive, but if you want to make the dungeons a bit more interesting for the player, then you need to think about it and maybe add some special features. So in this dungeon, we have some walls of flames that we just need to go through, and we can't make it in one go, so we have to kind of stop there. And we can see that there is a door behind the flames, which, if you would want to get there, you could just let the fox be heard, or you can just press this lever, which is going to turn off the flames. I've also added multiple floors to some of these dungeons, so it is not too boring. And then we have some stairs leading down, which we can see are leading into some kind of cave labyrinth. Now, we can't really see much, so we just have to kind of go through it and see where is the right path. And you need to be cautious of these huge boulders that you could have seen in the Indiana Jones movie. And as we get into the main room, we can see that we are locked in, so there is no way out, and later I will be adding some boss in here. And as the boss dies, some rocks will just fall down, which will create a path for us to get back into the first floor of the dungeon. Those two small puzzles are the main things that I have been working on, but of course I have added tons of props into these dungeons, and the dungeons itself. So in this one you can see a small market, where in the future we will be adding a merchant that will be selling some useful items for the fox. And if we press this lever, we can just easily get to the next side through these spikes. I've also added this boulder trap that you could have seen before in the caves, and I have improved those secret rooms so that they are fading out nicely. Do you have any ideas about what you would want to see in the dungeon, maybe some enemies, some traps? If so, then please let me know down in the comments, I would love to hear about it. Obviously, I have been adding a ton more stuff, just all of these decorations that really take time to place correctly, there is still a lot of stuff to do with these dungeons, but so far I think it's going pretty well. I would also love to hear if you like these types of videos, where I'm just showing you what I have done, or maybe you would want to see more tutorials, or you would just want me to go through the process of actually creating these dungeons, if so, then I would really love to hear about it. Also, if you are looking for some game developer friends, then feel free to join our Discord server, which is a great community of game developers. A few days ago, I have also released my second video on the Patreon, which is about learning effectively, so you can also check it out. Anyways, I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp, or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.